All right, so we got the Vivor 12 by 7 by 7 greenhouse. And um, I've heard the biggest complaints with these were they are flimsy. And uh, upon putting it apart or putting it together, you do notice that it's very flimsy, very unstable. Um, I do like all of the windows. There are three on each side. As you can tell, I did not pull them evenly. So this side is higher than this side. So when you're doing yours, make sure you're paying attention to that. A uh, couple of easy things you can do. Beef up the frame all the way around. Put in a door frame. Put in a center support all the way across. And attach it to the door frame. And if you do that, you will strengthen this quite a bit and make it to where, I mean, you can't, you cannot budge this thing. I mean, look at the ground outside. See, I'm shaking this thing. You can see my hand moving, but look out there. It's not budging. It's solid. It's not going anywhere. So you can do that, put a frame door frame and all that add a fan keep things cool see if we can get that to focus right there so it stays pretty cool in here and uh make sure that another thing that fails on these is the doors and i am not a very good craftsman so mine come out looking like ass but as you can see here, I have attached the a board on the back side through and attached it to here. So it's basically pinching this metal bar. And then just added these so I could pull the plastic tight and get the zipper on this side of the door. This will help preserve this zipper and make sure that it lasts a lot longer because these fall apart if you don't. The constant pull and ripping on them when you're pulling up and pulling down if they're not secured like this then um, they will cause issues later and that will come apart so you can also buy some ground ties some uh, ground spikes you can use dog dog ties trampoline ties whatever you want and get you some 550 paracord and attach that and uh, once you do that you will not be able to lift up on it so it's attached to the ground so if you do those couple of things it'll help increase the longevity of these also make sure that these are tight you don't want them too loose because a lot of them sag make sure that everything is tight you want to make sure there's not a bunch of give on it. Because if you don't, when you get your first snow or your first heavy rain, this is going to sag. That's another reason for adding the top support. So this is going to sag and these rings will fold in on themselves um, with just that flimsy little metal centerpiece that they give you to attach. So make sure when you're buying one of these, you're going to double your price and lumber but it's worth the cost because instead of spending a hundred and having to put these up every year every two years or after every windstorm you can just spend a hundred dollars on the greenhouse about a hundred and fifty dollars on some lumber and screws and then you get long lasting results so frame it in put a door frame in put a center support in and get you some cable ties you do those you essentially turn this into a permanent structure um, and then after if you're using 303 protectant after maybe eight years five years something like that you might have to maybe even 10 or 15 if you're not in a super sunny super hard uv area 10 or 15 years you might get out of one of these and then all you got to do is just buy a new shell and replace it so it's that simple so it's up to you guys you can buy the cheap ones 
stick with the cheap ones and see how long it lasts or you can just go ahead and beat the beat the grain and do like I did just do it when you buy it makes it a lot better I'll be sure to put on there who I learned this from right here somewhere who I learned this from so y'all can go check his channel out peace out